you're going to recognize some of these fingerings. Um, there will be some new ones. So the first chord, I'm muting the fifth string. And I'm playing down to this open third string, which is a G. I'm going to take my second finger and I'm going to scoot it to the left one fret. And then make a C chord. Okay, so the melody is on this C on my first finger. Just adjust this a little bit. I'll do that again. Play to the third string open, scoot to the left of my second finger, and make a C chord and play the melody on my first finger. Now I'm going to scoot back to the right again, to the third fret my second finger and then I'm going to put my third finger on the third fret of the second string and then I'm going to take this shape here making sure I make a tunnel for the third string and scoot it to the left that's an A7 chord and then play that E open and then play it again and this is going to be a D minor I'm going to leave my first string open, play the first string open, then put my first finger on F and strum through the chord. And then I have to get my second finger back up to the fourth string. And this time I'm going to play all the way down to the second string. And then I'm going to leave my second finger on that. Uh, F there, and then after that, scoot it to the left and make a C chord. So I'll play that again. Oops, just to the third string open. C chord. There's a first and second ending, so when you get to the second ending, the only difference is I'm going to put my fourth finger down here on G on the first string, and then we've got this voicing of C with E as the lowest note. And then the next part is this chord, which is a A7 sharp 5, but if your hand can't manage that chord in time, you can play it like this. And then skip over the fourth string and just play the bottom three. So I've got my third finger and my second finger on the sixth fret of the third and second strings, and then my first finger is playing an A on the first string, and then I'll bring my fourth finger to this G. All right, and then I've got a G7 chord. I'm just gonna play my first finger on the first fret of the first string then a D by itself, and then a G chord using the bottom three strings to this F, and then I'm going to flatten my first finger across the bottom three strings and play the fourth string open, and then play the first string open for the melody, and that's a C chord, all right? Then the rest is just as it was on the first time through with the first ending. 